In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the text tool in order to create text images and for you to manipulate them in the way that you want to. So I have a shape that I've already built using the shape builder tool. It's really just two rectangles and I use the shape builder tool and I have a video for that if you're looking for that. But now I'm gonna use this tech, the type tool. So now that I have my type on the page, I'm going to double click and I'll just put my name and then I'm going to select it. Once I select it, I think I like to just take that and if I hold shift, it's gonna keep the same aspect ratio. And then what's nice about this is I can just center it, I think, it's not centering, but if I wanted to, I can hold shift with the shape and the word and then click horizontal center. There's my name right in the middle, but I would probably want to change the font. So if I select it, I have a lot of different fonts. It's probably gonna go off the screen so you don't see it exactly, but let's do just a bold font if that's fine. It changed it a little bit, so I can center align it in just a minute, but let's say I wanted to warp it a little bit, like make it a curve because I wanted to add another image below it. So if I go to effect at the top, which now I'm, that I'm thinking about it, that might've got cut off on my screen, but I'm clicking on the menu that says effect, and then I am going to warp and I will do an arc. So let's try what, let's try arc. I'm not sure the difference between lower and upper, but that would be a good test to make. So now I have this up and I can use the slider to adjust it however I want. So there, let's say I wanted to arc it this much. Even though it's going off of my page, I will adjust that later. Make sure you have preview checked because if you don't check the preview, as you move the slider, you're not gonna see anything move. But once you, ch once you check preview, then you can actually see what it's gonna look like. And I can say, okay. And then from here, I'm going to adjust it. And remember I said about center aligning. So if I hold down shift and click my shape, I can center a hor horizontal align to the center. And what I wanna do with this text, I'm gonna click out and click back into my shape. Uh, sometimes when you transfer, when you transfer files from one computer to another, the other computer might not have that same font. So I recommend that instead of leaving your font like this, leaving your text um, like this, you turn it into an image. So from here, you're gonna see down here that there's this create outlines. If I, create, if I click on create outlines, now this is an image file and it's going to stay this font no matter what. And yeah, so you won't, it won't matter if that font is missing on another computer. From here, you can find another image to place and I'll just do an example. I'm gonna place, I think I have some folders in here. Um, let's see, what do I have? LED signs, I think I, I like to go to the Noun Project and I have an account with them so I can, um, here, let's just place this image. I can download them as SVG files, but if you just have find an image from the internet, you can put it on. As long as it's a PNG file, I think it should be fine. You, it's preferable, preferable to have a transparent background. And then, lastly, if I were gonna cut this on a laser cutter, I need a, change this line back to 0 0.001 so that it knows to do a vector cut with the, with the really hairline thin lines and then it'll do a raster and gray with everything in the black. So that is how you can add some digital text 
to your laser cutting file.